I'm Justin Broughton, part of the Firebase Test Lab team. And we are here in the Ask Firebase Lounge at the Firebase Summit in Berlin. So Ali and I just gave a talk on application quality. My name is Ali, I am product manager on crash reporting. I think the pure interest from developers so far, everybody came with a specific question. It wasn't, hi, can you tell me a bit about crash reporting or test lab or whatever. It was people that tried the product, they liked it, they hit some use case and they wanted to know more about it. They wanted to know best practices or whether a feature is coming soon. And you know that, that shows how much interest there was. It's encouraging for us and it helps us shape the direction going forward. We did some announcements together. We, uh, for the, on the crash reporting side, we announced an analytics integration. We announced uh, a new workflow for how to close uh, particular crash uh, notifications. On the test lab side, we, we announced zero cost testing, free testing, available as part of the free tier within Firebase. We also talked about the Espresso test recorder, which is a way of very easily creating instrumentation tests by simply interacting with your app. It's so cool. It's something that, that really will revolutionize how people create tests. So that's, that was very exciting. We got a lot of good feedback from that. Certainly with Espresso Test Recorder, I would just download Android Studio 2.2 where it, uh, Android Espresso Test Recorder is now GA, and it's available on the run, uh, in the run menu. You can just say run Espresso Record Test. And as far as our, and our documentation online for test lab, crash reporting? Yeah, absolutely. For people that want to learn more about crash reporting, the documentation site is a great place to start. And if you want to get a feel for the console, check out the Firebase demo project. It's public. Um, I think it was mentioned today in the keynote. You just enroll yourself in a group, and within a couple of minutes, you'll have access to, th to see what the console looks like. And it's going to have real data for crash reporting that you can see. So you can experiment what kind of analysis you can make uh, for a specific error. Um, and get a context on um, a specific cluster of errors. So it's really useful to get an understanding of the product. So for people who want to learn more about Espresso Test Recorder, they can download Android Studio version 2.2, where Espresso Test Recorder has gone GA. It's on the run menu, run record Espresso Test. For Test Lab and uploading tests and the free tier, this is all as part of our documentation, which you can find on the documentation site. So. <laughs>